Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matthew Demer, and I have had the pleasure of serving for the past five years as the coordinator of the Performing and Fine Arts Academy. On behalf of the faculty, staff, administration, and board, I'd like to welcome you to this very unique promotion ceremony for the students of the class of 2024. And welcome eighth graders on your final day as middle schoolers. The completion of middle school is an important rite of passage. It is a landmark on the journey to future adventures. Yes, you have accomplished much over the last three years, and during that time you have developed skills and abilities that will serve you well in the future. But there is so much more to come. More people to meet, things to see, lessons to learn, songs to sing, and miles to run, hopefully with a continually faster average mile time. Some of you will leave the halls of PFAA and attend a brand new high school. Many will stay on this campus for another four years. Either way, it will be different and exciting. Each of you is about to embark on the next leg of your journey to adulthood. I am honored to join you in this very special event as we celebrate your wonderful accomplishments during your middle school years and commemorate this important transition in your life. We will begin tonight's ceremony with the national anthem played by eighth grader Kaya Hitzman. Please rise with me at home for the national anthem. to be great. Everyone raised their hand in response, but there was only one student who kept their hand down. 
The student told the teacher, I don't want to be great, I just want to be average. It seemed like that they were afraid of greatness and it easily confused the class. Now hold this thought until I bring it up again. Ah, uh, the class of 2024. One of the most historical classes ever. I mean, who else gets to say that they promoted middle school through Zoom? But for real, as you all are in your comfy homes, future ninth graders, take a look at your family and the time that we're in right now. You made it. We did that. We were known as the class who was never satisfied with our class color, resulting in us not only losing the spirit count, but all the rallies in sixth and seventh grade due to the lack of teamwork and class spirit. But in the end, we were able to pull off some of the craziest stunts this year, like confetti cannons, an advisory cup, and a 3D paper mache coming out of a door for door decoration, and winning our first and last rally of middle school. In this class, I see some of the greatest medical professionals, lawyers and politicians, artists, engineers, teachers, scientists, athletes, and great leaders. I bring all of this up because remember that student that said they only wanted to be average? That student was me. And it took me up until my portfolio presentation to realize that any impact that you make, whether it's big or small, makes you great in your own way. It took me over two years to realize that the greatness that I and many of us want to strive for isn't going to happen on our own. It takes learning the lesson of valuing your self-worth, understanding that you can strive for anything that you put your mind to. It takes understanding the value of your friends and family, but it also takes how much you're willing to do in order to strive and reach for your dream. I want to thank my friends who've accepted me for who I am and giving me an endless supply of laughter each time I was with them, my family for holding me up and supporting me through thick and thin, and all the middle school teachers who've constantly pushed me to be the best me for me. And of course, my class of 2024 family who've grown so much over the short but strange time we've had. And with that passion and drive you all carry with yourselves, I know from high school and beyond, you will only get greater and better than you are right now. If for some reason you only want to strive for being average, let me speak for all of you right now. You will struggle because you have all this greatness within you and it will only get better from here on out. Whatever happens, remember that you've come a long way. And if you ever feel like there's nothing or no one who believes in you, remember this, belief starts with yourself. Congratulations, class of 2024, we made it. If you have myself stuck in the middle of the sea, I'll sail the world to find you. If you have myself lost in the dark and you can't see, I'll be the light to guide you. You can count on me like one, two, three, and I'll be there. Cause I know when I need it, I can. Now is the part of our ceremony where we recognize a few special students that have gone above and beyond in their time at PFAA. Before our teachers speak about these students, I would like to draw your attention to some notations in the promotion program which can be downloaded in the video description below. Next to students' names, you will see symbols. High honors are given to students who earn a cumulative GPA of 3.75 or above over their three years here. Portfolio honors are awarded to students who exceeded standards in all categories of their 8th grade portfolio presentations. Web leaders are students who were nominated by their teachers to work with 6th graders and help them adjust to middle school. 
Students with the ASB Leadership designation have been part of the school-wide student leadership of PFAA. All of these students embody the mission and principles of Natomas Charter School, and we are incredibly proud of them. At each promotion ceremony, our teachers present a few special recognitions. These are given to students who have shown remarkable achievements throughout their middle school years. The first series of recognitions will cover students who achieved high honors on their eighth grade portfolios and will be presented by Mr. Wong and Ms. Hargrove. Hello, eighth graders. Congratulations on finishing your portfolio. We really appreciate everyone who participated. We know it was a little bit different this year, but we appreciate all the buy-in and we're so excited to evaluate your portfolios. Here are some of the honors recipients who did a, a standout job, went really above and beyond. Sneha Atmakor. Lance Bell. Nicole Brown. Hannah Chrysler. Naomi Crocker. Alina Hernandez. Kaya Hitzman. Connie Huang. Jackie Huang. Jacob Thomas. Lorenz Leonidas. Kiara Matias. Molly Nealon. Aliana Pasqua. Hannah Patterson. Elias Pollard. Isabella Reynoso. Angelina Rivera. Aiden Spiva. Jerusalem Temple. And Noah Yang. Congratulations, eighth graders. Yay! Yay! The definition of perseverance is steadfastness in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. The Perseverance Award honors a student with that definition in mind on their academic, artistic, and personal growth through middle school. I love giving this award because it is so closely tied with what we do in PE every day. And this student took the essence of perseverance and weaved it into my class and their love of running. Before I get to that love of running, let me tell you about their journey. Academically, she came into sixth grade with some struggles, but never let those deter her. Ms. Green says she's become an independent and confident thinker. She's willing to review and revise to achieve higher performance. And over the years, she's increased her academic endurance and independence. This speaks directly to perseverance. Artistically, her arts teachers note she's always had a positive attitude. Mr. Kata noted, I love her positive attitude and perseverance to succeed in class. Lately, she's been asking for help and also getting in inspired by the experienced musicians. I personally echo these statements and have seen a different aspect. The student took up running in sixth grade and fell in love. There is something about running that is almost innately connected to the term perseverance. You have to keep going. You get better and better the more you, pr you practice. Sometimes you might fall and have to get back up. We recently had an assignment in my class. Students watched a motivational video and then commented on how it related to them. I'm gonna use her exact words because it captures the essence of the student and this award. She says, I think I relate to this content because sometimes I do feel like I am the ant in the room with small beginnings and big goals, but I know I am determined to get to those goals and I will do whatever it takes to make those goals easy every day. I know there are so many people out in the world who have the same dreams as me, but I keep going and I try to outwork those people. I think my experience with this comes from when I started running. She says, when I started running, I felt like it was a big goal a big goal just to accomplish one mile. I look at myself now and I can do a mile without even thinking about it. I made that goal easy by feeling it and working towards it every day. In closing, I'm so proud of this young lady and thankful to have been able to have her smiling face in my class every day. To you and to all of the eighth graders, I would encourage you all to continue to persevere and chase your greatness. It is with great pride that I present this year's Perseverance Award to Ashley Richter.
The Amicus Award is actually given by the students. I'm simply here to relay their message. This year, multiple students were nominated by their classmates to receive this award, recognizing their kindness, friendship, and empathy. It makes me proud as their teacher and class advisor that so many of these eighth graders are eligible for this award and acknowledged by their peers for that. There is only one winner of today's Amicus Award, however, and here are some things that their classmates said about the recipient. This student is a friend of everyone. They are funny, loyal, honest, and more. This student always helps us when in need and honestly tells us when we're about to do something extremely dumb. But most of all, he can make anything fun. He was and has been the cheerleader of our whole grade. Um, even when I didn't know him at the time, he was the one person I would rely on for some class spirit. He's kind of crazy, but he's really nice and never mean to anyone. All of our teachers love him and our class wouldn't be the same without him. He even started a campaign for his friend who he thought deserved this title more than himself. And if that isn't pure selflessness and care at its core, at this point, I don't know what you want. Still their words. Getting a person like him in your life is one in a million, but he himself, his presence and friendship are one in infinity. And I'm so glad that our whole grade has been given the chance to meet someone as hardworking, open, kind, and goofy as him. The Amicus Award goes to the student who is always there to light up the classroom with his trademark smile and goofy jokes, Aiden Spiva. The Staff Award recognizes a student who demonstrates excellence in academics, arts, and citizenship. The student who receives this award has excelled in all areas in middle school, and I feel very fortunate to present this award today. This student started at Natomas Charter School in the sixth grade, which allowed me to gather some sentiments about them from several other teachers. From his math teacher, Mr. Osborne, one quality about this student I see over and over that will serve him well his entire life is he is not afraid to ask questions. And Ms. Preventure, his science teacher, says, he is the all-around student in my class. He is my grammarly, always keeping me on track. He brings in a flair for drama in many different accents. And from Mr. Cisneros, his three years being a part of the middle school musicals have been amazing. He is such a hardworking person and one that brought the students together as a leader. He knew when to work, but at the same time, make the rehearsal fun for everyone. Also from Mr. Spiva, he has become a leader in the jazz band. He not only works hard on his own part, he regularly listens and has suggestions for how the group can sound better. I've noticed in my language arts class, the student is always filled with excitement about the written word, whether the words come from a published author or from himself. Every year in eighth grade, Mr. Wong and I assign the what it takes to be great speech. Never before have I had students present what it takes to be a great theatrical producer, including passing out tickets at the door and distributing a program with all the highlights. The excitement about what he can create with what he learns makes this year's recipient an amazing student to teach. One of the specific challenges we have all faced this year has been transitioning to distance learning. This student, along with several others, worked diligently to continue our fledgling middle school writing club, including creating a governing cabinet and an impressive website. The willingness to embrace a completely different style of teaching and learning contributes to choosing the student for overall excellence. From musicals to band performances to enjoying in-class cold prompt finals and all philosophical debates, the student works hard with a smile on his face. It is my privilege to introduce this year's recipient of the PFAA Staff Award for Overall Excellence to Marvin Lance Bell. There is a saying that history repeats itself, and you learn this time and time again in our studies of world history. Despite this knowledge, I would have never imagined that when I showed you a video about fleas on rats or we discussed the origins of the Ring Around the Rosies, that we were only a year from wearing our own masks in our own pandemic. It wasn't supposed to end this way. You're supposed to be signing yearbooks, splish splashing at a water park, holding hands with closest friends, knowing that next year you may not be attending the same high school. You were supposed to be cutting in line to get into Day on the Green. Trying to tell your crushes that you fancy them. Running the mile one last time with the widest and fastest strides of all three years. 
you were supposed to be doing those things with your dearest friends together. Some people might say, well, what's the big deal about losing a yearbook signing or saying goodbye to your friends or a trip to a water park? There are other things going on in the world, like with the economy and people's lives. I mean, that's true. COVID-19 has changed the face of the world, but to minimize the things that it has changed, to minimize the daily life that it has taken away, the end of the year activities it has canceled is to minimize all your hard work and dedication of the last three years of middle school. You deserve to be recognized, deserve to be honored and spoiled. What you have accomplished is not an assumption, but an accolade. You got here by working hard, gutting through it, and pushing yourself. No virus would diminish that accomplishment. You saved the Earth from a comet in science class. Master complicated equations in math. You were hired as a samurai in social studies. And trained your bodies in PE. You were a lawyer in language arts. And you sashayed and made music. And painted your souls out in performances. And all of this was before what may be a defining challenge in your lives. We were supposed to be together, high-fiving, stressing about portfolio, touching our faces without washing our hands. Instead, our indeterminate future is on display right now, and you're having to use your critical thinking and your educational adaptations. Come what may, today, tomorrow, or whenever, you're ready. Ready for high school, but more importantly, ready for unknown challenges. COVID-19 does not dictate your lives. You are dealing with this problem, but it does not define you. Your performances, your songs, your paintings, your pots, your dances, your essays, your problem solving, these are your traits. And no disease is taking that from you. You may have lost the party, but you didn't lose what we are celebrating. Your grit, your growth, your education. Are we sad that we're not going to see you again as eighth graders? or maybe not at all, of course we're sad. And so we wanted to take this chance to say that we're proud of what you have accomplished as middle schoolers and as members of society. Wherever you go, we're proud to have you represent our middle school program. We NCS teachers have given you our best effort. And no matter where you go this next year, we'll always think of you as our students, our class of 2024. It wasn't supposed to be this way, but what storms may come, we'll be together. You'll always have us and the rest of your PFA family supporting you. Eighth graders, class of 2024, a virus nor a change of schools takes away the fact that you have accomplished something grand together as a middle school family. Congratulations. At this point in our ceremony, we would typically present the promotion certificates to the PFAA Middle School Class of 2024. Our students have the opportunity to receive their promotion certificates in a drive through event on Friday, May 29th. Over the next few minutes, you will see slides featuring each member of our promoting class. Please join me in wishing them well from afar. Close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy. Say, they can say I've lost my mind I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy We can live in a world that we
every room inside is filled with things from far away. Special things I compile, each one there to make you smile on a rainy day. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy. They could say we've lost our minds I don't care, I don't care if they call us crazy Run away to a world that we desire Every night I lie in bed The brightest colors fill my head There's a house we can build Every room inside is filled With things from far away Special things I compile Each one there to make you smile On a rainy day They can say, they can say It all sounds crazy They could say we've lost our minds I don't care, I don't care if they call us crazy Run away to a world that we desire Every night I lie in bed The brightest colors fill my head A million dreams keeping me The world could be a vision of the one I see. A million dreams is all it's gonna take. Oh, a million dreams for the world we're gonna make. However big, however small, let me be part of it all. Share your dreams. The brightest colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me A million dreams, a million dreams I think of what the world could be A vision of the one I see A million dreams is all it's gonna take
distinct, colorful, individual. What do these words have in common? They describe every one of us. Our uniqueness is what makes us strong. We all have separate skills and talents. Lorenz is a great basketball player. TJ is a fantabulous actor. And Taryn is a stellar vocalist. And when we are united, we can move mountains. Some of you may say, but I don't have any unique talents. But that just isn't true. Some people's talents might not be as obvious or apparent as athletic or artistic abilities, but they are there. For example, Noah is an amazing friend and a compassionate person. Connie is a kind person who always follows her heart. And Charlotte can make anyone laugh. These are just a few examples of the many skills we all have. And although I would love to name one for each and every one of you, I'm pretty sure this speech has a time limit. So I'll get to the point. We are different and unique, but we are also united. We've been through the same classes, the same projects, the same social pressures. We have done these things together, and these experiences have bonded us. Although many of us will be going down separate paths next year, we will be able to look back fondly on our years together and what we have accomplished. So finally, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being you. Congratulations, Class of 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you our new freshman high school class, the class of 2024.